Today we're looking at the X54. It's a flat burr grinder by Mark Koenig, built for the home barista market. It retails for around 500 pounds and features a similar design language to Mark Koenig's commercial grinders, including the E65S and the K30. Today we'll be finding out if Mark Koenig have managed to bring high quality coffee into the home and whether the X54 is worth considering as your next upgrade. In the next few weeks, we'll be putting up this grinder against the San Remo all ground. So if you'd be interested in seeing that video, make sure to subscribe to the channel. So as the name suggests, the X54 is a 54 millimeter flat burr grinder, which offers great grind consistency and uniformity. It features an on-demand grinding system with time-based dosing and a 500 gram hopper that feeds directly into the burrs. It grinds somewhat slowly at 1050 RPM, but that makes for a pretty quiet and relatively pleasant sounding grind. We found it can take around 18 seconds to grind for a standard double shot of espresso, which is a little slow, but it's not really something you need to worry about when you're grinding in a domestic setting. Slower grind rates are also pretty typical for cheaper domestic grinders when compared to their more commercial counterparts. Though the X54 motor and burrs are still rated for up to 25,000 shots of coffee. So using plenty of high quality materials, solid metals and hard plastics, the X54 weighs in at 5.3 kilos. It's relatively large for a domestic grinder at 42.5 centimeters tall, 19 centimeters wide and 28 centimeters deep, which might cause some issues if you're looking to slide this under your kitchen counter. You can choose to grind straight into the porter filter or into a dosing cup, depending on if you're grinding for espresso or filter coffee. To swap between either option, all you have to do is press the button on the side to remove the portafilter fork and swap in the base plate. You can adjust the grind size with the stepless knob on the right hand side, with numbers from 1 to 35, all the way from espresso to French press and cold brew. The grinder is calibrated at factory to be around four steps coarser than where the burrs touch. And you can recalibrate this yourself if you want, by twisting and removing the cap, pulling out and turning the adjustment dial, then pushing it back in and adding the cap once again. There's a very simple user interface featuring a manual mode and four programmable dose timers, which you can swap between or fine tune using the dial. There's a manual grind button next to the display, along with the grind button that's pressed when you place the portafilter on the fork. You can adjust the spacing of the fork to help fit most portafilters by removing the plate and adjusting the screws on the back. So the X54 is really designed to be an on-demand grinder where you'll be going through one bag of coffee at any one time. Rather than weighing out your shots and single dosing one by one, the X54 makes it really easy to just load a full bag of coffee and grind as you need. Once you've dialed in the grind size and the dose, you can simply leave the grinder at the same settings until you finish that bag of coffee. Because it's such an easy grinder to use, the X54 is perfect for that one person who likes to tinker and dial in their grind size, but who also has to share their coffee setup and grinder with their family or with colleagues. There are some issues that the X54 comes with that are simply inherent to the on-demand hopper style grinder. Changing grind size can be difficult when there are beans stuck in the burr chamber. So you might have to grind coffee whilst you adjust the grind size, which can be a little bit wasteful. You'll also need to purge a small amount of coffee through anytime you change the grind size or open a new bag of coffee just to get rid of anything that might have been stuck inside the grind chamber. And finally, the speed at which the beans enter the burr chamber will slow down as you gradually finish that bag of coffee. This can have an effect on the grind size and uniformity. So your shots may taste a little different at the same grind setting as you go through the bag. So that being said, it is possible to use the X54 as a single dosing grinder. Doing so would let you weigh out the beans before every shot and easily swap between different grind sizes, brew methods and different coffees as well. It's certainly possible to use this as a single dosing grinder, but it's not really built in that way. The retention issue means that you will have to purge a small amount of coffee through the grinder every time you swap grind size or coffee. And the hopper is shaped and designed in a way that does lead to some coffee beans sticking to the walls anytime you single dose. So you can use this grinder as a single doser, but it is a little bit wasteful. And it really is designed to just go through one bag of coffee and one brew method at any one time. Mal Koenig calls this an all round grinder, referring to the fact that it can do espresso and all other brew methods up to French press or cold brew. 
In our opinion, it's not really espresso and filter, it's more like espresso or filter, due to the fact that any time you change the brew method, you will have to dial in and purge a little bit of the coffee. So the grind quality coming out of the X54 is very impressive. You can absolutely grind for a large range of brew methods, as they state. And we've had some very delicious cups of filter coffee, along with sweet and balanced espresso. The 54 mm flat burrs produce a very uniform grind size. So in terms of espresso, it works incredibly well with light roasts and longer ratio shots. This week I've been pulling shots of a light roast coffee from Burundi at a ratio of one to three, which produced very light, complex and sweet espresso in the cup. Filter coffee has also been very enjoyable, producing clean and crisp coffees. At around 500 pounds, this grinder is competing with the likes of the Fellow Ode and the DF64. And whilst I haven't personally tested these grinders, I can say that the coffees coming out of the X54 have been very enjoyable and rival the commercial grinder that we tested last week, being the E65S. I can definitely see this grinder being paired with a small batch brewer in the home or a domestic espresso machine for larger families of coffee drinkers or in an office cafe environment. The X54 distributes grounds into the porter filter quite well. We only really ran into issues with grounds clumping together when grinding at the finest settings, much finer than we would do for espresso. Static is perfectly acceptable and honestly hardly even noticeable when you're grinding for espresso. A little more so at coarser grind settings, but definitely nothing to worry about. So this grinder is targeted towards the home coffee drinker, but with Malkernig choosing to go with an on-demand and hopper style grinder, they've definitely made their target market a little bit more clear. The X54 is for large families of coffee drinkers, offices or small businesses that want to offer their guests a coffee, or maybe even being set up as the dedicated decaf or guest espresso grinder in a cafe. Whilst the coffee enthusiast might lean more towards a single dosing grinder that lets them easily swap between brew method and coffee, some people just don't want to be weighing out their coffee every single time. For those people, the X54 is a great choice of grinder for brewing delicious espresso and filter coffee, though maybe not both at the same time. You can learn more about the X54 by heading to our website with a link down in the description. If you did enjoy the video, then please feel free to leave a like down below. I've been Jack from Bridge Coffee Roasters, and we'll see you next time. Thank you.